One in three Americans suffers from extreme stress. Depression affects 6.7% of American adults. And only one in three people report feeling very happy. So the hardcore truth is most people just are not happy. We live in a country with some of the best medical education in the world, some of the best medical systems in the world, some of the best doctors in the world, some of the best hospitals in the world, some of the best medicines in the world. Please explain to me why diabetes is on the rise, heart disease is on the rise, some cancers are on the rise. It ain't partially hydrogenated oils. Our jobs are killing us. Our companies are literally killing us. And you can see this on the highways and the roads as people commute to their jobs in the morning and then back home after the workday is over. Hundreds and thousands of corporate workers travel to and from their jobs going through the motions of their daily routines and the grand majority of these drivers look stressed, fed up, mad, anxious, bored, or downright upset. And the reason for that is the majority of people out there are not content, 100% happy, fulfilled, and just don't consider themselves very happy. And there are lots of reasons that play into this, but when it comes down to it, it all comes down to one simple reason for our depression. There are not enough people out there who love their lives. Now, if you don't consider yourself happy or 100% fulfilled, it's because you don't love your life. If you're not happy, it usually stems from the fact that you don't love who you are, you don't love what you're doing, you don't love where you do it, love who you're doing it with, and you don't love the direction that your life is heading in. The true reason behind your unhappiness, stress, anxiety, and depression is the fact that you don't love your life. Because life is hard enough when you do have a passion for who you are, where you've been and where you're going. Life is hard enough when you do have passion. Life is generally a struggle. It's hard either way. But when you do love your life, life can hit you with those failures, those obstacles, and all the problems in the world. But nothing, no problem will ever devastate you the way that it would if you didn't love your life. way too many people in this room right now that are doing stuff they hate. Please stop doing that. There is no reason to do shit you hate. None. Promise me you won't. Because you can lose just as much money being happy as hell. My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. And so he made a conservative choice. Instead, he got a safe job as an accountant. And when I was 12 years old, he was let go from that safe job. And our family had to do whatever we could to survive. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want. So you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. Because that fundamental love and passion for who you are will always be the backbone holding you up that directs you and guides you, protects you, and keeps you happy even when life is not going your way. When you do have that passion, nothing can fade you. No struggle can kill your drive or kill your happiness. 
Loving your life is an infinite and unbreakable supply of motivation, fulfillment, drive, discipline, and work ethic. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is gonna fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. Having that passion for yourself is the greatest blessing and gift you will ever get in your whole lifetime. The best thing that will ever happen to you. Because when you love who you are, love your career, love where you're going, love your relationships, love where you live, when you even find the strength within you to fall in love with your struggle and fall in love with your grind, life becomes like an epic and beautiful game that gets better and better as you grow older. When you love your life, you become one of those one in three people who feel very happy every single day. You don't need to go to happy hour when you love your life because every hour is happy hour. Not only that, loving your life is the greatest act of rebellion that you can ever do. Because after all the negative setbacks that affected you, all the problems you battled through, all the drama you struggled with, all the people that crossed you, after everything you went through, you still love your life. You're still 110% happy, and none of the problems you went through were ever able to destroy you, and nothing could faze you. That's the greatest act of rebellion there is. To go through the worst, and still come out on top with the best attitude, the best work ethic, the best accomplishments, and the best relationships, and to still love your life. My motivation comes from a couple places. One, I love what I do. You know, you may not love, again, back to what you want, especially seeing a lot of the youngsters jumping in today's show, you may think that doing things is the process needed to what you want, which is you want to be in Las Vegas with 30 beautiful women around you and like drinking champagne and going crazy. But like, I don't like that stuff. No, I don't. You know, I don't like that stuff. I, I, I like the process and so, you know, to me, there's two things that drive me. One, I love what I do. For the billionth time, my separating aspect from a lot of you, and keeping it real, is I love working. I love putting in the work. I love the headaches. I love HR nightmares. I love it. I like it. I like the grind. I like that I have a 6.30 call today with an upset customer. I like that. Doing something, answering those emails, giving a crap, caring about your user base, that's what you need to do. You need to care about everything and it starts with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. I promise you can monetize that shit. If you love ALF, do an ALF blog. You collect Smurfs, Smurf it up. Whatever you need to do, do it. How do you get money to do what you love? You don't, right? I lost a shitload of money when I started doing what I loved. What you do is you position yourself to succeed. So for example, if you're doing something else and you, and you want to do this thing you love, you do it after hours. You work nine to six, you get home, you kiss the dog, and you go to town, right? I mean, you start building your equity and your brand and whatever you're trying to accomplish after hours. You, everybody has time. Stop watching fucking Lost. 